In the last video, we learned a little bit about the layout component. In today's video, we're going to utilize that knowledge and create navigation for our app and also set up layout for our pages. Code with Sloba. Okay, first, let's create a folder where we want to store our component. So in the root of our application, let's create a new folder and let's name it components like this. Now let's create a new file and let's name it as nav bar.jsx you can use js jsx whatever you prefer so inside of this uh, component let's create first array of links that we're going to use uh, on our navigation so let's name it as links and this is just going to be an array and we're going to use this array to loop and display links so let's create an object and we're going to have two properties the first one is going to be href and here we're just going to add the links so the first one is going to be counter counter and they're going to replicate the routes that we have so counter prisma query and to-do list okay so counter and let's add the second property which is text so this is the text that that is going to be displayed so it's going to be counter now let me copy paste this a couple of times and the next one is bar let's update the text the next one is to do list these are all going to be applications that we're going to build to do list is the name of the text and the last one is going to be query this is for react query like so now below this let's create our navbar component so let's going to use a react arrow function component with export shortcut like so and let's actually import our component in the layout in the root so let's open up let's open up the layout here and let's just remove this navigation that we created in the previous tutorial and let's include the nav bar and we're going to use the automatic import here from the top like so and as you can see we have this prefix at and this can be adjusted if you go to the js config here so if you want to display it something as uh, differently uh, this is where you can do it but i will leave it as it is here so navbar and then we're going to create new tag for our children components and i'm going to name it as a main so basically we're going to create a main layout uh, as of now you know for everything that we have in our application now let's add a class name and let's add some padding uh, to our page so let's add some padding 20 on top and the bottom and let's add some maximum width max width to be 6xl and let's centralize our page so mx auto like this and you cannot see it here but if we go and if you'll enlarge our page let me just do that yeah you can see that it adds some uh, it centralized the content so yeah this is what i wanted to do let me return back to what we had like so okay now let's turn, let's return back to the nav bar here and let's create our navigation on top so inside of our functional component let's remove this div and let's add a nav component inside of this nav component let's create a div and inside of this div we want to create a link this link is going to be a default link that is going to route to uh, to home page so make sure to import the link on top so we can also import react and move it on top here and we can import link from next link so this is the component from next.js that we're going to use and here we're going to just name it home like so now let's refresh uh, it gives us error because we haven't provided href so we need to provide href and this is going to be just for a slash like so and now we get this home button here but obviously we want to style it so let's add some classes so class name and we want to add button button uh, button primary like so okay and now we have this nice styling now let's add some background to our navigation so let's add a new class bg base 300 like so and here let's add a new class name so this is going to be our navigation actually 
and let's add a name of now bar so this is gonna uh, now bar. so this is gonna add some padding and some stylings to um, to our navigation also let's set the maximum width max width to be 6xl and if you have installed a uh, tailwind plugin it will show you you know what is the actual value of this uh, of this class so let's centralize uh, our content so let's, let's use mx auto and let's add uh, we want to add flex column so what this means is we want the items or the links to be in a as a columns on the small uh, screen like on mobile devices and starting from small medium and large we want to move them to be flex row so everything to be inlined like so okay now we only have this home button but obviously we want to add uh, other links so here uh, let's add unordered list and inside of this unordered list we just want to loop through the array of the links that we created uh, here okay so let's do that so links dot map and we're going to call the items as link so these are the items from the array and what we're going to do in here we're just going to return the li and for the key we're going to use the unique value from the link which is href i mean even text is the unique but let's use href and inside of uh, li we're going to return the links the actual link components from the next.js as a text we're going to use the property that we created upwards so link dot text and for the href we're just going to use uh, link dot href like so and if you save this we see that we get here uh, all the links but the thing is that this doesn't look very pretty so let's add some classes so this uh, looks much nicer so for the link itself let's capitalize the the links so let's add a class name and capitalize is the name of the tailwind class here so now we have the upper letter now for the link itself uh, or actually for the links let's add here some classes so for the unordered list let's add a class of menu and this will create these buttons as you can see here now let's add uh, some margin on the left side so md just on the on the medium size because on the lower resolution is going to be stacked on top of each other let's add margin left eight and let's display them as columns on this mobile device and on this larger starting from small sm going forward uh, let's display as a row flex row like seal okay so and if you go on the lower resolution you will see something similar here but if you go on the on the larger resolution it's going to be like this and this pretty much sums up the navigation that we wanted to create for our application and let's test it out so if you click on counter we get to a counter page bar to do list query and we can get back to the home and this is basically how you can create navigation for your application uh, this is all for this video see you in the next one and if you want to support my channel and get a full source code of every single video that I'm doing, feel free to check out patreon.com code with Sloba to get full access. See you there. Well, that's all for this video. And thanks for stopping by. And don't forget to subscribe. Code with Sloba. Thank you for watching the entire video. To see more videos like this, click here.